Hey Virgo, it's Kelly. I'm back with your love messages. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back everyone. Um, this is the house of Virgo. So if you are a Virgo, you are definitely welcome. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. As usual, be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. We're going to look at singles tonight. Okay, we're going to have a look at the singles. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Click on the reading and you will, um, or click on the, the link that will take you right to my booking site. Um, and please do smash that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to join my channel, right? $9.99 a month. Pop in the live stream, members only chat, and you can get unlimited tarot personal readings with me for the time that I'm there. All right, you guys, let's take a look. Virgo singles for the rest of January. What's going on here in your love life? You guys, we're in a Mercury retrograde. Just started. We're also in Venus retrograde. Mercury retrograde goes until February 3rd. Venus retrograde is until January 29th. Okay, so be mindful of that. There might be a little downtime. Sometimes exes come back. But we're going to take a look at those of you, you know, if, there, if an X returns, an X returns. But we're going to see if anybody new is coming in or if when, if and when someone new, new comes in, what the energies are with this person and you. Okay. So let's take a look. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction. So listen, Virgo, I know you're like, who with who? There's definitely going to be somebody coming in for you that you're going to feel like pretty darn like wowed by. This person has charisma and they're and the energy between the two of you, I feel like it's going to be very strong. Let's see. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So definitely forgiving and learning from the past releasing healing that energy that's what's going to open you up to new love okay <clears throat> forgiving someone mm, i know it's tough isn't it it's tough i know it's like sometimes you know how do you forgive somebody who hurt you so badly you know, you, you're not, you're forgiving yourself for holding on to the anger and the resentment and the grudge. That's really what you're doing, you know, and in turn, forgiving that person, but it, you're really just letting it go. I mean, love is all, when you truly love someone, you just forgive them for the things that they've done, you know, and you, you, you have to, don't you? You just have to. You can't live your life like holding on to past energies. Now, for some of you, you know, the, the whole process of forgiving and learning here, I just feel like you guys, this is just bringing you to a, a better, peaceful place. Are you forgiving and learning, forgiving someone from the past, forgiving yourselves, like whatever you got to do. But that really is what, again, ex helps you, opens you up to experience my love in your present moment. Okay, so there's an energy here. In regards to that okay so you also have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world okay so I feel like at this time you guys are kind of like pulling your energy back like you're retreating right now for whatever reason okay um, okay I'm not gonna say it <laughs> <laughs> I feel like right now you guys are disconnecting from the world. Some of you got off the internet, the World Wide Web. You're disconnecting off the internet. You're doing your own thing. You're getting in your healing. All right. <clears throat> some of you, you know, you, you do have like, for some, there's still chemistry from someone from the past. But, you know, I don't think that that ever really goes away. I feel like at this point, you're just trying to like move on here. You also have Honeymoon. So a lot of you, I do feel like you're going to meet somebody in the next couple of weeks. I, I just, I feel it, but I don't, I don't know exactly yet who it is, but I feel like somebody is going to come in where there's some kind of, um, gosh, I want to say like, if you're going on a trip or there's some kind of holiday or a little time being spent together, um, I mean, that energy is going to come up, but I feel like first, the biggest message here 
is you got to let go and um, release and he and heal the past energy. It's really just about forgiving somebody. That's it. Because I feel like once you do that, you know, that's going to just it's going to put you at rest and just open you up to something here. You, some of you. You could meet somebody if you're on like um, if you're on an actual retreat, if you're planning to go on a retreat or um, I'm feeling like being on a boat. I don't know who is on a boat right now. Hmm. And holiday time. Somewhere there somewhere someone's celebrating a holiday. Uh, some of you did retreat um, from somebody. You pulled your energy away. Of course, for from the holidays, you either pulled away from someone or you pulled away with someone for the holidays. You may have already met somebody, but let's take a look here. I'm going to see what the energy is of who this person is. Let's see who's coming in here. Okay. That's so crazy. There's so much travel here. Somebody could be coming in from long distance, from far away. Coming to pick you up. Somebody's coming in to pick you up. <laughs> they're sending you a car. That's what they just said. Somebody is coming in and they're sending you a car to take you somewhere. Okay. Or there's a... All right. Give me a second here. <laughs> Either they're sending you a car for some, or this person is traveling towards you. Um, and it feels more along the lines of like, this is a scary thing for this person. They're coming long distance. This is a long distance connection. You're meeting somebody who's far away, okay? They could be across the water for some of you. Across the water. You're definitely going to feel some type of chemistry with this person. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be completely off the chart when this person arrives. Okay, we have cancer energy here for some of you. Let's see. Okay. Look at you, Virgo. You got the Hermit here, with the Seven of Swords. You're like, oh no, this, somebody's going to deceive me. Some of you are still haven't forgiven something from the past. I just have to put that out there. Some of you are still salty about something that happened from the past. I mean, you have somebody coming in here who's going, who's like coming out of their comfort zone. They're coming towards you. This person is going to get on a plane or is going to drive or take a, a boat maybe even a helicopter, um, is coming your way, is making plans, is taking a trip to come your way. And Virgo, you're just like, like the chemistry is so great, but I don't know. I'm so afraid to put myself out there again. Right? Are you? Look, Ace of Cups. This is like a brand new beginning that's happening here in your love life. So let me take a look here. What is this chariot energy? Okay, you've got a king of wands. Okay, now this is somebody new. Okay, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius could be someone on the cusp of Cancer, Leo. I just kind of, I just get a sense, Virgo, that you're like right here, like love is coming toward you. Some of you are gonna, some of you are not fearful. Some of you are like, bring it, and I see you sneaking away with somebody and not letting anybody know. Let me see. What's the hermit here for? What's going on? Yeah, look at you. You're looking so good, Virgo. Nine of Pentacles. That's your card right there. Okay? That's your card. You're definitely getting some kind of message. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're feeling confident. But you're you're keeping things under wrap. You're not communicating with anybody. Love is definitely coming in for you. At least in these next two weeks. Now, it could be coming in with plans, but... I definitely get a sense that somebody is facing some kind of like taking a bold move. It's like a bold move. The King of Wands is someone who is a bold leader, very charming and courageous. 
okay so this person is coming in tell me a little bit more about this king of wands they may have just got a new car they're gonna it feels like yeah they're driving like a they're driving a new car nice car they might even be sending a limo to you is this somebody that you're already talking to Virgo they might be picking you up in a limo or you know you might be meeting them in a limo if you're like somewhere with friends or with people if you're on some kind of a trip all right let me see what seven of uh, swords here you both have the seven of swords this is like spending time oh, together retreating together going somewhere together without letting anybody know for however long you know enjoying holiday time together this might be two people who weren't able to get together over the holidays maybe because of you know restrictions or things going on in the world or for whatever reason and i feel like two people like it's like you guys are now going to connect okay maybe you are we're already talking to this person but now the opportunity is like delayed celebration delayed holiday celebration to connect with this person because there i see them here wanting to you know sneak away with you as well <laughs> like i said retreat disconnecting from everyone and everything kind of like a little um rendezvous a little love love affair rendezvous kind of thing yes listen the ace of cups especially when i'm talking about a singles read and new love coming in 100 percent new love all right let's see what else is going on here Oh, okay. Interesting. You also have the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Oh boy. What's going on here? Oh, wow. You have some options. Oh my goodness. Virgo, we're talking about singles to see one person. Guess what? There's a King of Swords coming in here. Um, now this could be someone from your past making an apology this could also just be somebody new coming in who is they may have a child or a teenager they may be um communicating with you or sending you sweet little messages or sweet love notes or texts or calls or something along those lines so cute okay hmm Oh, this person is very generous and very reciprocal with their time their energy and their resources but also romantic very sweet you i feel like you have a couple of suitors here male or female okay that the females might be more in a masculine energy but it's definitely you have a couple of suitors here you've got someone coming from long distance from far away and you have someone hmm this could be somebody that you work with let me see or that you meet on a trip if you go gambling somewhere if you're going like a say a casino or somewhere where you're spending money for some of you let me see okay the four of swords Ooh. healing after a heartbreak okay all right hold on sixes can represent you know like a past energy so all right we're just we're not going to go into the past too much but you do have this is a past person this this king or queen of swords this is someone who is um you know it's the air it's the air element they could have that in their chart somewhere they don't have to be that in their sun sign but you have a past person who is can reconnecting or trying to um oh hold on sorry you guys I had to sneeze like i said i just keep sneezing um so this person is coming in with this energy of like um this past person like is coming in very generous and wanting to reciprocate i was feeling mostly like an apology or some kind of text reach out um 
this person, um, and we're not going to dwell too much on it, but this person wanting to heal whatever kind of heartbreak, or if you guys, this person might have been in, you know, at a dis, like emotionally distant from you, um, ha may have retreated or just kind of like went into solitude because their heart was broken about something and you know now they feel it's like a favorable time to reach out to you um or to try to get some reciprocation from you or you know that kind of thing just be careful um there may be an apology for for um you know breadcrumbing um they might have been giving to somebody else as well and you know that kind of energy but let's let's take a look at the new okay i just felt the need to say that and we're gonna take a look at the new here all right let's see tell me about this ace of cups Ooh, <gasps> ten of pentacles oh what else <clears throat> the ace of swords beautiful so you've got somebody coming in here who's direct and honest um this person may work in real estate this person is coming in like they're ready to settle down long-term security that's what i feel like is going on here um I feel like there's a lot of truth coming in from this person. Like this person is very clear. You know, they have a lot of plans. They're very clear with the things. They want victory in their life. I feel like with that Ten of Pentacles energy, this is 100% like, you know, I'm ready to retire. I'm ready to settle down. It could be both or separate. I'm ready to retire. I'm ready to settle down. I want to leave a legacy. I want to, you know buy a new home <clears throat> um so yeah i feel like you've got somebody coming in here from um somebody coming in here from a distance definitely um or they're relocating or moving to where you are okay now listen Oh, I am. I'm going to give both because I really feel like uh, you can split this read. If you don't want to listen to this past thing, that's fine. Pay attention. Um, but I'm going to focus mostly on this new person coming in. For some, like I said, they're on the their cusp of Cancer and Leo. For some, um, the birthday would be like July 23rd or um, 20th or. 21st or 22nd somewhere along those lines let's take a look at the six of swords okay yeah this person is going to break the bank to come towards you they're coming from a cold area i have to say that they're coming from a cold area or they're they're or or you're in a cold area and they're traveling to where you are if you're in a cold area okay let me see what else is going on here. Virgo, you're looking so good right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> you have the Knight of Pentacles. You're only taking solid bona fide offer. That's all you're looking for right now. And you're keeping to yourself, I feel, at this time until, um, you know, somebody comes in with the Knight of Pentacles with like a true blue offer for you. You don't, I don't see that you are really up in your feels about anyone or anything at this time i feel like you're more along the lines of keeping that to yourself um you're you're more focused on material things at this time what's real important to you you know that's where your focus lies you know i don't feel like let's see what's behind i want to see what's behind the hermit what's behind you what are you blocking what's underneath You're trying to hold back your your lust <laughs> and your um your your passion and your drive. You're trying to temper yourself right now. <laughs> That's a Sagittarius card, so you know you're trying to temper your energy at this time. Oh my goodness, you're like feeling pretty lusty. Um, <laughs> you're just like, nope, I'm not letting. I don't know. You're just trying to keep yourself. Um, a little self-discipline is what I mean. Just trying to be like a priest or a nun at this time. You're like, nope, 
I'm abstinent. That's what you're keeping. What else are you keeping behind you? What else are you keeping within? Ooh, page of cups. You're not letting anybody know about any kind of love offers. Maybe you are looking for an apology or you don't feel like you, maybe you, maybe you feel like you want to give someone an apology, but you're holding back. You're holding back. Um, there's some type of communication that I feel like you've been hiding that you've been having with someone that's really turning you on in some way, but you're not, you're not chasing anybody. This, I feel like the, some of you, I feel like you're already talking to somebody or you will be, and this is the energy that's going to come up. Like you're not going to let this new person know about your lustful desires, or you're not going to really reach do the whole flirting kind of thing with this person not full on you know it's just page energy so you know you're not going to let somebody know that you um are feeling some kind of way about them you're keeping all that back keeping that hidden but you really just want to run away with somebody and this person like they're they're you're both i see you going forward both kind of just sneaking away from whatever you're in or whatever you're doing at this time um sneaking away from family friends you know just kind of withdrawing retreating not letting anybody know okay look at this all right i have to say i just have to say it virgo when you connect with this person and you know we're going to keep it candid here this new person when you connect with them it's going to be on with that tower it is going to be on you know what i mean like orgasmic explosion and I'm not even, I didn't even have a drink tonight. So I don't know what the heck's going on with you, but you're on fire for somebody or you will be. And you're just like, you're, you're restraining yourself at this time. <laughs> All right, let me see here. But you really want to connect or you real, you, you definitely will be once you connect with this person, you, you will be wanting to like, just take a leap of faith and just go but you're holding back i see you holding back let me see what's this person this energy of this person okay they're gonna come in and surprise you there's gonna be like a surprise um showing up at your at your door or um surprise sneaking away look you yeah see this person this is definitely that's it's the same person they definitely they this person wants to like i don't know they want to move in with you or they're going to buy you a home or give you a key to their home or you're inviting them to their home to your home and they um they ask you if they if they could they're going to this person might be moving really they're going to surprise you that's it that's it that's it that's it sorry they're going to surprise you and tell you that they're going to be they're buying a home where you live or they're moving to your area or they're you, they're going to tell you if you haven't met them yet that they just bought a home near where you live and it, like they're going to be right there so this is kind of like a long distance relationship the the gap closes between two people here so you may start, okay, so it's not like you're going to meet somebody now, start talking to them if you haven't yet, and then by the end of January, you're going to be living together. It's not like that. I mean, we're looking throughout the end of January. This can, time is fluid, so this energy can play out at any time. I will give you some dates, though, um, a little bit later, but I feel like mostly either this either you, maybe you both work in real estate or this person works in real estate or somebody's trying to... Um, like I said, buy a home near where you are, or you'll find out that they live near you. Um, some of you may be talking to this person, you meet them online, and then you find out you're in like the same town. And it's like, whoa, you're on the other side of town. Like it's not really that far. You're in the same area. You know, even if there's like a couple hour drive difference, you're pretty darn close to each other. Okay. Um, so I feel like this person is just, their, their energy is like waiting for the right time. Um, see again, for some of you, it's crossing over water. Not all of you, but for some of you, there's somebody that's at a distance over water. It could be a lake, it could be a stream, it could be a river, it could be an ocean. You know, um, it really just depends on your situation. Let me see, what else is going on? Tell me more about this tower. 
the sneaking away for some fun, sexy time. Ugh, King of Wands, it's twice. All right, you guys. It, this is somebody, like I said, very, um, very confident, a bit feisty. This person is like brave. They have a lot of, um, they're bold, they're courageous, they're charming. Um, a leader type, you know what I mean? Like a very passionate, fiery, free-spirited kind of person. This person's very creative. Um, they're very physically active. You know, um, they're fast. They, they like to run. And when they run, they're like really, really fast. They're a really fast runner. This person likes, um, they like to um, be, they, they thrive on success. Um, this person, I think they have their, I feel like they have their own business. Or they have like a good deal of wealth. Um, you know, this person, they have a lot of um, awards or diplomas when you when you meet or when you talk to this person you'll see or they have a lot of trophies um like a lot of victories that that they can sh that they show that they're able to show okay this person is not they're fearless they're not afraid of rivalry or confrontation or any kind of um like a challenge to them is exciting okay um, they thrive on challenges, obstacles, forget about it. This person just is like, no, they crush them. They smash obstacles. Um, and I just feel like this person always has new kind of projects. They're always looking forward, never looking backward. Okay. Um, all right. Let me see see what other messages there are here for you what other messages does Virgo need to know <clears throat> you guys I'll be going live tomorrow members only at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you want to pop in and get a reading okay mask okay someone is not showing their true true feelings hiding their personality okay um pretending so there's somebody here i feel it's not lying it's just not revealing exactly who they are just yet um so it could be you okay it could be i do feel like this is you because like i said you were hiding some things in that hermit energy you were just kind of like the hermit is you know it's like reserved the hermit's not really out there you know, the hermit goes within. Can be, maybe somebody's shy. Maybe there's a shyness. But the hermit's not like, meets some, I just feel like for you and your energy when you meet this person, you're just, you're not going to put it all out on the table right away. I don't feel like you're going to like wear a mask, give a false mask. I just feel like you're going to keep things very civil and surface um, for whatever reason whatever reason okay maybe it's because there's some forgiving and learning um or that you're still kind of releasing a past situation and i feel like some of you just don't want to talk about a past relationship you don't want to like scare somebody off um and you want to just kind of take it slow with somebody this person but you also want to be with them <laughs> you also will want to be with them okay Whew. what else Okay, separation. Somebody's really sad right now. They're missing you. They're thinking about you. And they're unsure of the future. I feel like that's a past a past person you might be in separation with. Or if something ended. Um, this person is having a hard time. Um, they think something is over here. They don't know what to think about the future. Like I was saying, I do feel like this person is going to reach out from the past. And... Um, you know, try to give an exchange or try to have an, some type of a um, text or call exchange, try to get you on the phone to talk to you, this person. I feel like this past person is ready, you know, like the wheels are turning, They're, they've reached like a turning point, um, perhaps during a separation. Um, yeah, and I feel like this person... Um, They've healed from some kind of heartbreak situation or they are intentional um, in their communication that they want to try and heal something. 
um, if there was a third party thing on your end or on their end. Yeah, what else is going on here? Okay, but you have wedding rings, so you got this new person here. This is like your person. This new person coming in. This king of wands has showed up here twice. This is your person coming in. This is it. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal flame, eternal love, everlasting promise. And you, and you, Virgo, are like incredibly attracted to this person. You are. You, I feel like, um, I just feel, I don't, I don't know if you're still attracted to the person in the past. You might be, but I definitely feel like you're on fire. Maybe you're just on fire, period. And somebody comes in and just sparks that fire up, you know, adds a little spark to the kindling and just, but you're trying to contain yourself. I see you containing yourself a little bit, but you know, the King of Wands is always very attractive. King of Wands is very passionate and physically active. The King of Swords, you know, is always somebody who's more cerebral <clears throat> by nature, like generally more cerebral not 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 very um, emotional or not very emotionally expressive is what i mean um the king of wands is, is very physically expressive with their passions so yeah i'm seeing a wedding situation or a union um or just some type of soul connection in the future with this new person okay the sword in the rose clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection and power this king of wands is is a protect this is someone who will they'll fight for you they'll fight for you they'll stand up for you this person that's it that's the energy of this person remember i said they have a lot of truths like this person you know they they i heard when i was looking at this card at first i was i was hearing like live by the sword, sword die by the sword that's what i feel like this person now somebody's name might be rose there's a rose somewhere but i feel like this person is like maybe they're in the military or um some type of um or like a soldier there's like a soldier of some sort I, i'm guessing not well i'm saying soldier that's my word they're giving me military but i'm also seeing a police officer or someone who's you know in a part of a brotherhood or a sisterhood they're like somebody who's very much um you know uh very organized you know stands up for the people that they love like they have no fear they're fearless like i said before Okay. Okay, girl with the snake. Hmm. Some of you were involved in a relationship in the past with um like it was an empath narcissist paradigm. That's that's what your past situation was here. Somebody was very charming. Somebody felt used. A lot of that energy there was a lot of navelling and issues with boundaries here um it could have been a, a female it could have been a male um yeah i don't like that energy at all someone was an opportunist okay um doesn't necessarily i don't like when they use the word the ism thing okay I, i'll just say ism because you really don't know i mean unless somebody's diagnosed i mean I, this could just have been a very selfish person who was just all about taking and i see them coming in here trying to be reciprocal but how do you feel about this virgo this past person and you got some like beautiful love well you have the phoenix i asked you how you felt about that and for you you you're on a new phase okay but Okay, so here, here's what the card is saying. You know, the phoenix, the old, the phoenix is rising. That can be a Scorpio energy there. The phoenix is rising. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Okay. So how do you feel about this connection from the past? You're hoping that this person is transformed. And we did see that in yesterday's reading. 
that there could be a renewal or a rekindling, that there could be growth and a changed mind. You're hoping that this relationship from the past, um, either that this person on their own, or if you still are considering reconnecting or rekindling with this person, that the relationship could rise above, but you've got that kind of like on the back burner because you're not holding out hope for that. You know, I feel like a lot of you are just trying to get in this position of, I'm just letting it go. I'm just forgiving all, all not, not just the person, but the experiences. I'm looking for the silver linings. I'm learning from the past and I'm moving forward. And there's somebody else here who's showing up pretty awesome. But the thing is, th this person who's showing up, okay, here's what they want you to know. They're just telling me, this person is showing up here. This is your, like a soulmate. Okay, but this is it is someone that you're very attracted to and and that you feel you could have a lot of fun with and this person has like a protective energy and they'll fight for you and they'll be there for you and you'll never have to question and they'll never give you any doubt. The past person might be more of a karmic twin kind of thing or a twin flame connection where one where one person hasn't ascended and the other has so there's a di there's still it's still a bit of a struggle and it's a struggle when you're trying to grieve and move on in your life and try to get yourself in a better position and that person reaches out okay it doesn't mean you have to answer some of you might not even get the message because some of you might have already just pulled yourself out of it but i have to tell you and i will preface like i did earlier we are in Mercury and Venus retrograde. So there is a possibility that this person is going to come back in, okay? Um, especially during this time period. Now, if you have them completely blocked, how are they gonna come back in? I'm not really sure. They they may find a way, like I said, you may not get the message or you may not, you may not answer a call if they call from a different phone number. Or they may just leave a voicemail because their number's blocked and you may not listen to it, or you may. I'm, I'm not really exact, I'm not sure, but I'm just telling you that there is an energy here of, you know, some type of communication coming in from this person. Um, they may get a hold of you by proxy through somebody else as well, okay? So, hmm, just keep that in mind. I'd also want to preface that um some of you might be holding back from moving something forward with someone new because it's venus retrograde and that's usually a good time to not move a relationship forward or not start any new romances until that time period is over which i believe was january 29th some of you might already be aware of that and you're waiting <laughs> that might be what you're holding back here okay but as soon as 29th is over on the 31st you're gonna be like okay let's go <laughs> you just want some sweet love in virgo you just want some sweet love and some cuddles and you want to be able to sweet love someone back and just stay warm and 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 lovely and have hot cocoa if you're in the winter and uh hit the beach if it's the summer you know Look, the struggle is over here for you, Virgo. Whatever you've been going through, you know, I know I hear and I see a lot of you in the chat and you're like, I just want somebody new. I just want to start over. I, they don't have to be perfect. I just, I just want a lot of you, like I say, Virgos are very sensual signs. So a lot of you are just like, I just want to touch somebody. <laughs> okay, time to go. Look, this is the chariot card here. Okay, you know where you're going and how to get there. Now it's time to go. Don't waste any more time. Just do it. Go after what you want. No hesitation. Blockages are being removed. The struggle is over. And as soon as you, as soon as I feel like for a lot of you, as soon as that retrograde is done, um, the Venus retrograde, here's what I said. Before you start a new romance or you just push a new romance forward, wait until after January 29th okay then go but the mercury retrograde from now until february 3rd is when i feel like somebody's going to be someone from your past is going to pop back up again okay this doesn't have to be a past lover this could have been a, a family member this could have been a friend this could have been a, an old colleague at work or someone from your childhood 
okay or it could be an ex or um a pa a, a, a past like an ex lover it could be for some um but i don't i you know a lot of you are like exes are exes for a reason <laughs> all right let me see what else is going on okay so these are kind of general messages. You're definitely going to be getting some kind of loan. I feel like they keep showing up in your readings here and there. If you have are trying to get like um, up your credit, get a loan for a mortgage, or a loan for a car, or something for school, <clears throat> you're going to get an offer. Does that mean that you're going to get approved? No, not necessarily, but I feel like a loan, an offer is going to come in. Um, mostly it feels for, um, for some, it can be an energy of like a raise at your, at your job or a promotion, um, an, an investment offer, some type of new income could be coming in, but it's an offer. Okay. Just an offer. Okay. Huh. You have regret. So some of you actually might not take the offer. You might. This is the first thing that was coming to me. I regret to inform you. No, thanks. <laughs> now that doesn't have to be a loan. That could be like, it, usually regret is like a sense of loss. Okay. Um, in like the five of cups energy loss grief feeling abandoned and unloved but i don't feel like that's coming out this way i feel like this is more like along the lines of i regret to inform you but i am not moving forward with something so you might be saying that to somebody um it could be the new person you could be telling like they could be rushing in and wanting to connect with you and you might just say um you know I regret to say I can't right now, but can you wait until after the 29th? <laughs> and I feel like they will. <laughs> I do. Even though this person wants to like run away with you somewhere, this new person. Okay. Yeah. This person, you're going to be in a committed love relationship. Definitely this year. Okay. Definitely this year. There is no doubt you will be. Let's see who it's with. Anyone specific? Is it this King of Cups? Uh, ooh, why did I say that? King of Wands. There's the Wands, the Eight of Wands. Okay, a lot of communication. Cupid's Arrows, love messages coming in. Very quick, some travel. I feel like it's this King of Wands. Now, I said King of Cups, so for some of you, it could be. Okay. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone who's ready to commit. They have they they have no problem committing. They don't have commitment issues. <laughs> this person's like such a rebel. They have a very re they have a rebellious streak about them, <laughs> and it, it almost feels like while most people show up as like not able to commit this person's like in the opposite direction this is a little bit of a surprise because this person may come through as a little bit of like a bad girl or a bad boy they come off that way but <clears throat> that's not who they are don't judge a book by its cover that's what i feel like your message is here all right let me see what your numerology messages are going forward I'm just going to get a couple. What do you need to release, Virgo? The waxing moon. See, that's what I said. Forgiving and learning. As you, re as you release and heal, this is what you need to release, your past. You experience more love in your present moment. So some of you need to let go of the past. That's it. Forgive the deeds that were done. Forgive the things that hurt you. Let go. Move forward. A time for healing. Holy, are you kidding? What do you need to release? A time for healing as you release and heal the past. That's it, Virgo. You can't go forward until, until you get into that position. Like, really learn about forgiving someone. Really learn about forgiveness. You know, um... 
just let it go. Just let it go. Just say, ugh, nobody's perfect. This person, you know, all, all, whatever somebody did to me in the past, a parent, a friend, a lover, a family member, uh, a colleague, whatever this person did, it's it, those were their actions. And that just showed you, Virgo, where their insecurities were. There's an old saying, hurt people hurt people. And if somebody hurt you intentionally, some people hurt people and they don't even realize they're hurting other people. And if this, if somebody's not aware that they're hurting people, then you really got to forgive that energy because then it's like, wow, this person's clueless. They don't even know, which can be the definition of insanity. If someone's intentionally hurting you, that's really just because that person's hurt and it has nothing to do with you. So let it go. Cleanse yourself. I just feel the need to get some charms. Okay. We have a turquoise moon. Interesting. The blue moon. Blue moon, I saw you standing alone without a dream in my heart. Without a love of my own. I made those words up. I don't think that was right. Okay. I think that's it. There's like a blue moon here. Turquoise blue. Oh, and you've got a pentacle here. Awesome. Wow. Okay. Hmm. So... <laughs> This feels like the Ace of Pentacles. This is what it feels like. This is what I, the first thing I'm picking up here. There's a huge golden opportunity that's coming in here for you from somebody. Somebody's coming in. You're going to be, some of you are getting a, a, a huge gift. Somebody's bringing you a huge, beautiful gift. It might be like one of those, I just heard, or just maybe somebody just bought one of those moon night lights, you know? I don't know if you, they glow, it's like a glowing moon night light. It's very soft light and you plug it into the wall. It's like a moon. Um, but yeah, this is like, it feels like a gift of some sort coming in for you. Like a huge, it's what this person, somebody new here or, you know, bringing into you. Like this, if you... Virgo, I feel like if you're not ready to move forward, like just be honest, but tell the person why and give them an opportunity to make the decision if they want to wait or not. But like you have to take care of yourself first, but I don't feel like this is an opportunity you should give up. Um, especially if someone from the past that you haven't forgiven yet and there's still residual left over, if they try to come back, um, I feel like you should give somebody new a chance first before you go back into the past. Because I feel like, um, you know, for those of you who are in that position, I'm not talking to those of you who are, you know, I don't want that person, but we know, we get it. I'm talking that to those of you who are still in that fancy area, give a new person a chance first. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what the hell that is. Give me a sec. What the hell is that? Oh, <gasps> OMG. It's a lion. It's a lion. It's a teeny, I can't even show it to you. I can barely see it myself, but I can see it. It is 100% like it looks like a little cartoon lion. This might be a Leo. Like I said, someone on the cusp of cancer, Leo. Holy, do you know anybody on the cusp of cancer, Leo? And it's somebody new. It's not your past person. So see, it's my ex. Okay. <laughs> For some of you, it's definitely a Leo. Or maybe somebody, some of you might be on the cusp of Virgo. Leo Virgo as well. Okay. Like, what, August 22nd, 23rd, 24th sometimes. Somewhere along there. Oh my gosh. Now we have a little squirrel. It's a black squirrel with a white belly. Who's ever seen such a thing? 
Is there such a thing as black squirrel? The first thing I saw, and you guys probably, I'm going to date myself here when I say this. The first thing I saw was Pepe Le Pew. Do you remember that cartoon? Pepe Le Pew, where he would like romance that um, kitty cat. And, but he was such a, he was so romantic and she was just trying to get away from him. She was like squirming out of his arms because he stunk. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you are going to be in that same situation with somebody new. Like this person's going to be hands on. They want to be with you. And some of you are going to be like, oh, stop, stop. Like, either you're not ready to rush into that. Some of you might be. Um, and then you go ahead and you do that. And then the person's just, they, they're very clingy. So that Cancer Leo energy, um, those, those people are kind of like, they could be very emotionally clingy cusp because they're on the cusp like they're very bold and aggressive okay but they can be very um uh i guess i want to say it's the f it's the fiery emotions that's what it is very um passionate like physical emotion so their emotions come out through physical touch so there's a lot of like hands-on kind of clingy type of energy just saying if that's not what you want, you know, I'm just saying. Just letting you know. Um, all right, let me see. Let's get a couple of other messages here. I'm going to see what your dates are when this... Because I, I feel like this... For some of you, this person's already here. For others, there's somebody new who will be coming in before the end of January. Um, and, and I really don't want to pull dates for that because I feel like it's really important for you to just put this person on ice for a little bit if they're talking to you now or if they're coming in now just wait or even if you do see them don't you know rush things forward quickly until after the venus retrogrades over okay all right let's see okay we're back here with the ace of swords okay so for some of you there's january 12th will be a very oh wait the 12th might yeah it's passed that was um, last uh, Wednesday that passed. Some of you might have just started talking to this person this week, okay? Um, somebody's initial, the letter C. I just heard Kathy. Let me see. Wow, okay. Very romantic. A lot of romance showing up here. Um, somebody's an artist and or loves poetry. Okay, and somebody could be very fickle. Either was, either tells somebody that they're fickle or um, calls somebody fickle. Okay, um, somebody's initial K. Um, well, okay, let's see. There's somebody psychic here. Tremendously psychic. Some of you could be connecting with someone who's psychic. Or you are yourself. Okay. Huh. Somebody's got... Wait a minute. I'm just seeing like a silver jewelry box. Or metal jewelry box. Okay. Letter Q. Okay. Q and a Q. Two Qs. Too cute. Somebody says, you are too cute. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Let's see. All right, somebody. All right, we have the 14th for birth dates. February 14th also is going to be a very significant day. And I'm going to make a special reading for February 14th, just so you guys know. Somebody likes Jello. Who is eating Jello or or gelatin? Somebody is doing something. Maybe of gelatin nails, gel nails, or you're eating Jello. Somebody's wearing a pink sweater or a pink shirt or a pink jacket. Something pink. Somebody has something pink on them, and it ain't me. Oh my goodness. Okay, they just gave me a message. Somebody here needs to go get their brakes um, checked on their car. Go get your brakes checked, I just heard. Um, 
Oh, and somebody wears black sneakers or black shoes or runners. I don't know, wherever you're from in the world. Black workout shoes with white socks, like all the time. Like the contrast between the shoes is crazy. Okay. Um, letter, an initial M. And we also have an I, the letter I. Um, the 15th, September 15th. I don't know why we get that all the time, I feel like. And the 8th, September 8th. You know what, you guys? I'm also picking up... Somebody has an... All right. They're giving me this area code 210. They're saying 210. And also the 21st, a birthday on the 21st. The 210, area code 210. All right. Hmm. Um, they just said to me, it's weird. Pez dispenser. Pez dispenser. I don't, I'm not going into that. I don't even know what that means. Um, okay. August 26th. I just heard August 26th. Um, mm -hmm. somebody here is paying off a debt finally paying off a debt maybe that's why you're not going to accept a loan that's being offered because some of you are just getting out of debt like for good which is great um okay somebody's name is sunny or you live in a or somebody lives in a very sunny area warm hot no not warm hot very hot sunny area Very hot, very sunny area. Okay. Russia. They're giving me Russia. Or Czechoslovakia or the Ukraine. <laughs> and Arizona. I just heard Arizona. Okay, that's weird. Arizona. There was... I wanted to get a couple of more... Um, messages of love cards for you guys real quick. Let's see what the other messages are here. Okay. Patience. Wow. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Very important message for you at this time, Virgo. Just be patient. Be cool. Twin flame. <laughs> okay. Why is your twin flame showing up here? Oh, okay. So... Like I said, I do feel like this twin flame karmic is like changing and going through. Like the phoenix is rising with them. So for those of you who have been waiting for that, your message here is to be patient with that person. Just take your time and allow that person to go through their journey. Um, and if you want to start dating somebody else, go for it. You know, you got somebody, a soul uh, flame, a soul flame coming in, soulmate energy coming in with somebody new. Um, but for those of you, I know there's some that you're like, no, I'm not, I'm done. I'm moving on. But for those of you who are waiting for your twin flame to ascend, just be very patient. Things will unfold. It's in, it's all divine timing. Okay. You were protected. You're safe and divinely guided. Okay. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts, healing and vulnerability. Okay. So your situation, your your where you are, you're definitely protecting yourself. You're trying to stay safe. That's why you had that hermit. That's why you're showing up like that in your reading. Um, some of you are trying to suppress obsessive thinking or obsessive thoughts um, because I do feel like somebody new is coming in here and they're pretty, like the chemistry is off the charts. That's what I'm saying. And it it might be a little hard for you. You, you don't want to get obsessed with someone to the point where you get attached or stuck on them. And then like, you can't see what like two feet in front of you, or you can't vet somebody out or just to make sure, you know, you you're holding back, you're holding your energy back. All right. So you don't get yourself in this position like, oh, I met the one and now I'm just going to like a vacuum dive right into that person. A lot of you want to, but I feel like a lot of you are like, whoa, wait a minute. 
you know, I'm done with the past, but I'm not rushing into something again here, okay? Right now, um, you can be open and vulnerable with this person and tell them what's going on with you. And if that means that you're still healing and or <laughs> some of you are like, I am not telling this person I'm waiting till after January 29th, Venus retrograde. They probably don't know anything about it and they're going to think I'm an idiot. So, okay, that's fine. If that's the case, just say, hey, yo, you know, I'm healing right now. I hurt myself. I get a headache or uh, whatever. <laughs> but do tell the truth. Like, do let the person know, you know, what's going on with you when they come in. You know, if you just need to hold back a little... It, Give them an opportunity. Give them something to work with. You don't have to like open yourself up and be like, I can't date you because it'll fall apart if we start dating now. Or I might become obsessed with you. Like, don't say that because then you just shoot it in the water. See? Okay. So you're, okay. So this is your soulmate. Okay. This new person coming in. And I always say soulmates are much easier than twin flames, but your twin flame that person is they're definitely rising from the ashes there's no doubt okay but um you know you have to do what's best for you first virgo no matter what's going on with you you have to do what's best for you You can't um you can't sit in your you, you can be patient and let them ascend but you can't wait you still got stuff to do so keep it moving girl and guy all right you guys hopefully i'll see you all tomorrow on sunday 4 p.m eastern standard time if you've joined my channel please do i want to see all my regulars in there so that we can have a chit chat and a powwow i know you guys can fork out 10 bucks a month come on i know some of you are like giving the money to netflix and hulu come on this is way better than any other you know streaming service you could possibly pay for you know we got the drama we have it all right here so go over there on my channel there click the join button and join you're not locked in for life join for however long you like and then you can back out of it if you don't, can't afford it anymore point blank period all right you guys i don't think i'm gonna do a sunday evening reading just so you know okay I wanted to get this out tonight to do the singles and just kind of let you guys marinate on this for a little bit. And um, hopefully we don't have an ice storm or anything over here and we don't lose power. <laughs> so that I'll be able to make it for the live members chat only at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on my channel, House of Virgo. All right, you guys, please hit that like button if you enjoy the video, share it with anybody who might need to hear it, and do subscribe, because I know there's some people putting comments on my channel, and I'm looking to see if they're subscribers and they're not, and they're just popping in there like, I can't take this music anymore, and I'm just, like a little um, disclaimer, if anybody comes onto my channel and I don't know who they are. I don't know that they're a part of the channel. They don't do anything. But they come on and they're like, well, you know, this reading must not be for me. Um, I was, I had a Karen. This reading must not be for me. See, I couldn't focus on the reading because the music and the noise, um, you know, and all that shit. And you know what? I don't even respond to those people. I, ban, you're gone. I don't need you because I'm not a people pleaser and I'm not here. I'm not interested in the goddamn feedback and I don't care about what anybody thinks or what their problems are as far as like how I do my channel. You're either, you're here to enjoy it and you're a part of it or you're not. So, you know, if you have a, pr if anybody has a problem or would like to make a suggestion, I will kindly listen to a suggestion. You can email me moonpytaro at gmail. Um, but leaving any kind of a comment, if you're someone who's been on my channel, but you're not in the chat and you've been a regular and then you pop in with that, that complaining shit, mm -mm. that's, that's, that's just nothing but criticism. And we're not doing that in 2022. I don't, I don't do that. I've been here long enough. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I don't usually pay attention to that stuff. When I saw it the other day, I don't respond to those things. I just block those people and they never will come back again because I don't need them. I got you guys. You guys are the best. All right, you guys. So there's your reading. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for listening to my little rant. You know, every once in a while I go off. So I will see you all tomorrow. If not, I will catch up with you on Monday. All right, you guys. Love you. Bye.